Is it fair to say that Tyrese Maxey is one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA? What's good, beautiful people? This is your guy. Now look, I know this may be blasphemous to say. I know a lot of you guys may not agree, but let me tell you, Tyrese Maxey of the Philadelphia 76ers might be one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA. If not the best, one of the more efficient ones in the game right now. One of the best young three-point shooters in the NBA. And I'm going to tell you why. Right now, Tyrese Maxey is ranked top five in the NBA for three-point percentage. He's actually ranked second right behind Luke Kennard. And he's attempted 299 threes so far this season and made 130 of them. That's not bad numbers. Now, he's not a prolific three-point shooter. He's not a volume three-point shooter. But granted, he has been shooting very well in the month of April thus far. Granted, only four games. The last game, he shot 80% from the three-point line, going four for five. The, uh, the game before that, 72% from the three-point line, going eight for 11. The game before that, 50% going two for four. And the game before that, three for five, 60%. For the month of April, he's average, he, he's shooting a he's shooting threes at a 68% clip. And then in the month of March, he was shooting threes at a 44% clip. So, so he is really going above and beyond to show that he's one of the better shooters in the NBA. And he's actually one of the more efficient shooters. And a lot of his three-point shots come off the dribble. And that's what makes his three-point shot, his three-point shooting so magnificent. He can still make spot-up threes, don't get it twisted. But if you look up most of his best three-point highlights, or if you look up some of his highlights in general, most of his threes are coming off the dribble, coming off a step back, you know, coming off of the uh, the screen. So Tyrese Maxey definitely deserves his flowers when it comes to being recognized as one of the better shooters in the NBA. Let's talk about it from this perspective as well, because Tyrese Maxey came a long way um, as a shooter in the NBA. His rookie season, he played in he played in 61 games, and he only shot 30% from the three-point line. And then in 2021, this season, he up he he, he increased his three point percentage by 13. percent That's the kind of production we wanted from our former point guard. That's the kind of improvement we wanted from our old point guard. And I don't know why some people act like it's hard to improve if you're dedicated. If you're dedicated to something, you can improve no matter what. For Tyrese Maxey's career thus far, he's a 40 percent three point shooter, which is not bad. His very young career, but Tyrese Maxey definitely deserves to get his flowers. When it comes to his shooting percentage, he's upped it, um, not just in three-point percentage, but from the field as well. Last season, he was shooting 46% from the field. Now he's shooting um, uh, 48%, so he, so he has a little boost. But the bottom line is Tyrese Maxey has improved tremendously, and it needs to be talked about. And he's going to be one of the X factors in the playoffs. He needs to be one of our dominant scorers. He needs to know how to take over. He can't be afraid of the moment. And he's never shown that he is. And I have high expectations for Tyrese Maxey. And in my humble opinion, he's growing to be become untouchable on his roster. I love that Tyrese Maxey, Joel B combination. You know, I want James Harden to get back into his rhythm, but I also like that combination as well. Tyrese Maxey is literally a student of the game. And he's showing you that he is locked in and ready and willing to take anybody's soul. And it's straight like that, you guys. I'm your humble host, Tony the Shows the Second. Make sure you guys comment below on what you guys think about Tyrese Maxey. Do you guys think he's one of the better three-point shooters in the NBA? Do you guys think he's one of the better young three-point shooters um, coming up in the NBA? Do you guys think it's just fool's gold, right? But I want you guys to comment below. Tell me what you think. You guys were locked in on your dose of Chalk It Up Sports, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to charge it to the game. One love, stay humble, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay hungry.